Hey, welcome back. Today, get ready for another Q&A session. So today's question comes from Jordan Hatfield. Uh, Jordan's a javelin coach at Corbin University. So shout out to everyone over at Corbin University. So Jordan's question is, how do you release the javelin from your hand? So the javelin throw uh, release, that's a, uh, well, it, it can be a sort of a, of a complicated question. And the, the reason I say it's complicated because there's so many different grips that folks use. So I want to start off with just, you know, the different grips that folks use. Uh, the first is the American grip or the standard grip. Sorry for you Europeans if you call it something else. Uh, index finger and thumb on above the cord, the rest of the fingers just wrapped around. And the javelin is going to go down the length of your arm. So it's not off to the side this way, it's down the length this way between the pinky side and the thumb side of your, uh, of your hand. Okay, so that's, that's the uh, American grip or standard grip. And then the other is a finish grip. So if you just slide the javelin down, now we've got the middle finger and thumb above the cord. And that's the finish grip. Same idea, same basic um, position as the American grip. The difference is that the middle finger is above the cord. All right. Now the last one is the foregrip. Foregrip is over the top this way. Fingers wrapped around the javelin here. Uh, this isn't the fork, or this isn't the grip that I prefer. I actually prefer a finish grip myself. Um, but some of the common mistakes in this grip with the uh, American grip, sometimes folks extend that index finger and they grip it here and then the thumb is in this spot here and uh, one of the keys to to getting uh, a good throw is is having a grip where you're connected to the javelin where you don't have to squeeze it super hard and you can uh, basically what i say is roll the javelin off the grip so what i always suggest is index finger and thumb above the cord or middle finger and thumb above the cord and what's going to happen is you throw, the javelin's going to um, roll off the length of your fingers as you're sending it off into the, into the throw. Um, if you roll the javelin off the length of your finger, so going from here all the way off, you're going to get a lot of, of torque on the javelin. Uh, but the other thing is it distributes the, uh, the friction, it distributes the forces that are placed on your fingers. You also get some spring, right, because you've got some, uh, some rubber bands right? The muscles. So you're going to get a little spring off the fingers, but I don't know how many of you have experienced it, but you start to get this little um, cut on your finger. And if you distribute the, the javelin over the length of your finger, you won't get that little cut because the, the force is distributed. It's not isolated in one single spot. So again, I, I look at it from getting my fingers in a little bit more deep. So this part of my finger is going to be wrapped around here with my fingers down the javelin, not across the javelin, okay, this direction. That way I've got the whole length of my finger. All right, so that's the first thing, is, is making sure that the grip is, is right. Now, the other release um, aspect of the throw is related to, you know, is it is it high of the, over the head? Is it out to the side? I mean, there's so many different um, throwing styles, and when I look at the release point, as far as the arm is concerned, I'm looking for a very loose arm, not necessarily a specific arm position. Now, uh, you know, and it varies with throwing styles. As far as my throwing style is concerned, I'm looking for a hand that's traveling high up and over the hip area. So I'm trying to get my head out of the way, my hip out. As the hip rolls, the shoulders roll, and my hand follows that motion. So I'm looking for a, a, hand, a hand that's somewhat high.
So I don't exactly claim to be the perfect javelin model, but in general, what we're looking for is javelin coming off the length of the fingers from here all the way off. So as you're pushing behind the cord, the javelin starts to turn and slide off those fingers and throw. Now, the other aspect of it is that the hand motion as you're throwing, the hand is going to pronate. What that means is as I throw, it's going to turn in internally this direction and release across the body. Now, maybe I'll create another video that talks a little bit more about that. But in general, what we're trying to do is move the hand through and roll the hand to produce that spiraling throw off the javelin. All right, the other aspect of it is the hand position. I like the hand to be high. I like the hand to be following my hip. And again, I'm trying to throw basically from the lower body working to the upper body. Uh, I often describe it as throwing from your armpit. Because if you can get the armpit high and all you're doing is turning the shoulders, the hand's just going to follow through. It'll be loose, relaxed, and you won't have any, hopefully you won't have any uh, elbow issues. All right, Jordan, hopefully that answered your question. Uh, if anyone else has, uh, you know, a, a question that they want to send me, you can send it to my email, shally at coachhally.com, or just uh, put, put your questions below in this video. I'll read them, and maybe that'll inspire me to produce some, some new videos on those topics. So if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so each time I upload a new video, you'll get notified. And until I see you next time, have fun and go for it. Thank you.